Hello, welcome to this program for design and technology. In our last program, we have seen what development of IDEA in the design process is, how an IDEA can be improved, thus finalizing the IDEA for production. And today, we are going to see how product planning is made. In today's lesson, we will learn what is product planning and the importance of product planning. Product planning is the sixth stage in the design process. What is product planning? Product planning is a stage consisting of organizing the manufacture of the final idea into a real life product. Product planning is a stage that comes before the realization process. Product planning can consist of safety precautions as well as tools and techniques, namely time plan, materials and path lists, flowchart, tools and equipment to be used, and safety precautions. Time plan. Time plan is a clear and visual schedule of activities. It helps to better understand the project and also to keep control on what has to be done. Here is an example of how it should be presented in the design folio. For example, the activity could be marking process, cutting process, assembly process and finishing process and you can categorize it in day wise for example day one day two day three day four and day five it depends on what product you are making materials and part list materials or part list consist of all parts to be used in the manufacture of final design it gives the dimensions, number of parts, and the materials to be used. An example is shown for the presentation of this information. For example, part, main body or support, number of of, also known as quantity, dimension, it should be in millimeters, and materials. For example, for the main body, we have one number of of and dimensions are in millimeters 250 by 120 materials is pine secondly support one number of of dimensions are 10 by 15 millimeters material is aluminium flowchart Flowchart is used to show the sequence of the different production stages. We we'll start with measuring and marking process, then cutting process, assembly process, followed by finishing process, and finally it completes with end. Tools and equipment. Tools and equipment are a forecast list of all tools and equipment to be used during each stage in the realization process. For example, measuring and marking process, we can use pencil, tri-square, steel rule, marking gauge, marking knife, bench hook. For cutting process, we can use back saw, cupping saw, jack plane, spook shave and wood rasp. For assembly process, we can use mallet, wood glue, jiglan. And finally, for finishing process, we can use abrasive paper. It can be coarse, medium or fine grade. Sealer, varnish and brush. Safety or precautions. Safety or precautions are where we anticipate hazards that may cause injury during the realization process. 
This helps to take the safe manipulation of tools, materials and equipment. Throughout the marking process, the hazard could be sharp edges of marking tools, thus we should avoid running fingers along the sharp edges. During the cutting process, the hazard could be small pieces of material flying anywhere. Thus, we should wear appropriate safety equipment such as gloves, goggles, respiratory mask or earmuffs. During the assembly process, the hazard could be while hitting workpiece with a hammer. Hence, we should be careful of the fingers holding the workpiece. During the finishing process, the hazard could be toxic inhale of finishing substances. Hence, we should work in a well-ventilated area. Today, we have learned about product planning, which is a stage consisting of organizing the manufacture of the final idea into a real-life product. Product planning can also consist of materials and part lists, flowchart, time plan, safety or precautions, and tools and equipments. Well, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you soon.